in a team setting that just didn't work out. <laughs> so there's this amazing theory by Belvin uh, where he found out how different personality types in teams work best. This is Belvin. He breaks this model down in characters that you and I can identify with. He starts with three categories. Um, People-oriented, thinking-oriented, and action-oriented. On the people side, we have the coordinator, uh, the resource investigator, the team worker. On the thinking side, we have the monitor evaluator, the specialist, the plant. And on the action-oriented side, we have the implementer, the shaper, and the completer finisher. God bless you. So, let's take a look of the, on the, to the first character of the people-oriented rules. The first one is a team worker. Um, so they are the diplomats of the group, uh, they make sure everyone gets along, but they're really bad at make, making decisions at crunch situations. Next up, we have the resource investigator. So this guy develops contacts and negotiates external resources on behalf of the team but he might fail to follow up and can lose interest over time. Next up, we have the coordinator. So he's really good at managing talents and combining the team's efforts and promoting a general agreement. But he can also be manipulative and can be too hands off. Now off to the thinking rules. The plant, here we go. The plant has a lot of innovative ideas and can solve complex problems, but he has difficulty communicating with others effectively and feels easily hurt when some of his ideas are not taken off by the team. Next up, we have the monitor evaluator. So he's really good at judging impartially and makes the best decisions, but at his worst, he can take forever to make a judgment and he can be overly critical of others. The specialist. He provides in-depth knowledge on a particular subject, but he can't see the team's wider goals and can feel isolated from the team. On the action side, we have the shaper. He challenges and drives the team forward to achieve its goals and objectives. But he also easily gets in heated arguments and can offend people's feelings. Next up, the implementer. So he turns ideas and plans into action and organizes work that just needs to be done. But he's also slow to respond to change and to new possibilities. Last but not least, we have the completer finisher. This rule corrects mistakes and ensures that important details are not overlooked. He doesn't like delegating. He can struggle with deadlines. And he can also be seen as a distraction when the team is trying to determine an overall plan. So now you're asking yourself, what does the perfect process look like? Let me tell you. The plant, he comes up with many cool ideas. The monitor evaluator decides the best idea. He tells the coordinator. The coordinator then sends it to the implementer to make it happen. The team workers all along make sure everyone is getting along. And when problems arise, the shaper pushes the team, energizes it, and the specialist provides the in-depth knowledge needed, creating a smooth process. And last but not least, the complete finishers polish and perfect the end result. Now, who are you? Thank you. <laughs>